Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 6, I'm Kariba Devine. And I'm Mitch Carr, in tonight for Mark Curtis. Tonight, nearly two months after a massacre in northern Mexico, reports indicate a Mexican police chief has been arrested for a possible connection to the murder. Team 12's William Pitts caught up with the family, still searching for answers after the shooting that killed nine. Another arrest reported in the ambush of a Mormon family in Mexico. The chief of police in a neighboring Mexican state accused of ties to organized crime, according to multiple Mexico news outlets. Nine people, three mothers and six kids were killed in the massacre near La Mora in November. The cars riddled with bullets and caught fire. Mexican officials believe it was a cartel hit. Some children survived but had to recover from gunshot wounds. Mexican officials have announced multiple arrests, but haven't said anything about them. No charges listed, nothing about whether they were cartel members, nothing about motive. I expect there to be a lot more arrests, or at least we hope, and hopefully they go all the way to the top, wherever that may be. Multiple news outlets in Mexico have reported a chief of police in Chihuahua was arrested by the Mexican Attorney General's office last week. That's something the families down there don't find surprising at all. We feel like it's just really small fish in Mexico. Pretty much most of the chief of police and the police are our cartel members anyways. La Mora is one of a number of Mormon towns in Mexico, leftover colonies from the earlier days of the Mormon church. People there have dual citizenship. They work in the U.S. but live in Mexico. The communities held funerals over two days, laying the victims to rest. Look to God to contemplate on... Um, the plan of life that he's given us. Afterward, many families packed up and left town. Most of my family left, and they think I'm crazy for staying there, but on the other side of the coin, I, I don't feel any less safe than I did before. Some family members say they're gone for good. Others aren't giving up on the town they've called home. William Pitts, 12 News.